and welcome to another video by The Peppy Techie. Okay, today we are going to talk about a program called IntroMate and I introduced it first in a video when I talked about how to use backgrounds, create your own backgrounds using a lot of iOS apps. And this is probably my favorite intro maker or title maker. I'm going to show you the glitch effect because that's such a favorite with so many people. It comes with a glitch effect and sound effects and everything else. To change this, of course, they've got their own text and their own picture. I'm going to show you around the program. So we're going to start with the two little pieces of paper on the menu. I call them two pieces of paper. I don't know what else to call them. You have two sets of media. I would only use media one here for the most part. And down in the bottom right is the image. You can change this here. I'm going to go to photos and on my camera roll, I have a beautiful picture here that I just edit it and I'm going to use that so you can see how it creates the glitch effect with my picture instead of theirs. Then I'm going to go to the text and I just hit the X next to the text. It's If they're using the text it'll be highlighted blue such as this one was and I can use the plus and minus over to the right bottom to make it bigger or smaller and I usually like to run through the glitch to see how it fits. You can also move the Peppy Techie text up and down. I do recommend that you pay attention as you run through that it doesn't move the effect too much. I'm going to go to text 4. I'll hit the X next to it to just get rid of it and shamelessly I'm going to ask you to please subscribe so really appreciate if you would subscribe. I'm going to show you what you can do with your text. You can change the font. There are lots of fonts for you to choose from. And I'm going to choose Trade Winds. I'm going to come to then to the color. But you can use this to change the colors. And we'll change that. There we go. And bring that. Oh, I kind of like that. And then come to the stroke. And I've got a nice wide one here. I can make that smaller or bigger. I can choose the edge. And again, I could choose the color. That's more black. I can also choose the shadow. Okay, I can also click this little green button to show you what it would be like without it. So once I do that, I make all those changes. If I wanted to use it again, I would copy the style in the bottom right. And let's go to text five. There's nothing there, but I'm going to write thanks and I'll move this down. And now I can say paste and you'll notice I have just pasted the style. You also have on the menu your sound effects or music. So in this one, we have three blue tracks. So track one is the intro track. You can turn it up or down. You have track two, which starts sort of in the middle. And then you have track three, which is at the very end. So let's run through and see it fully. When I'm done, I go to the upper right and I export the project. In this case, I'll just do 1080p, 60 frames, and then you click the export button and it will export your project. If you are in the project and you go to leave it in the upper left hand corner, it will ask you don't save, save project or cancel. If you say save project, it's going to save it in the project so you can come back and edit it at a later date, which is really awesome. Make sure though, again, all these take up space. So if your iPad's getting full, it might be one place you will come down here, click on the edit and click on your glitch and you can delete it, duplicate it, or of course, rename it. I want to show you another one that I was working on. And this is welcome to how to use LumaFusion. And I put a video in here which is really cool. You don't just have to use pictures. So in this one where I have the title and I went to my text and I changed the text to how to use Intermate with LumaFusion. And here is where I went to Media 2 and I actually went to Photos and brought in my own video. And if it doesn't fit perfectly, you can make it smaller or bigger so it will fit. 
You could even, of course, rotate it. Don't need to do that. And if there is a background showing, you could change it to a different color. So I'm going to change this more to a red. Let's make it real red. And I'm going to play it. There are so many great templates and they have wonderful graphics in it. And you have a glitch and more bundle, which you can purchase for 99 cents or maybe $1.99. They also have the evolution bundle, which has some more great templates. So I'll show you this one where let's play loading. For those of you who are gamers, this is a really fun video. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Hope you'll subscribe to the Peppy Techie channel. Please make sure you hit the bell so you'll be notified when I make a new video. And leave your comments down below. Your questions, your thoughts, even your advice is much appreciated. And don't forget to smash that like button. Thanks for watching the Peppy Techie channel.